He gets support from Thierry Henry. The midfielders wide, Lloyd Sam and Ambrose Ayongo are not shy about getting into the attack. Roy Miller returns to the starting lineup for New York as well with Luis Robles in goals. No shot of Siggy Schmidt being able to start his best 11. It's a potent side nevertheless. Chad Barrett, Kenny Cooper, the strike tandem up top. Clint Dempsey and Obafemi Martins are available, but each would come off the bench. The Red Bulls in white, as they usually are for home games. Seattle wearing dark with the green shorts and underway tonight in Harrison, New Jersey. To right, Phillips, and into the attack quickly is New York. Lloyd Sam stepping up, plays it out wide. Chris Duvall able to cut it back, back to Sam. Connection here, right, Phillips turns, lays it off, and a shot save made. The rebound loose, right, Phillips buries the rebound. Half a minute in, the Red Bulls strike first. It's 1-0 New York. Oh, you just can't get the lead top scorer that much space and time in the penalty box. Sanders haven't got started. Watches the ball gets played in here. Lloyd Sam plays it in. Look how much space right Phillips has got. He's unselfish the first time around. This is all about him the second. There's the invitation. He doesn't need asking twice. Decent save. Finish the ball. I think he's got to drop one of his forward players in on Henri to do the job and sit in front of that back four. First break here for Seattle, taken away. Papa on the far side, his service looking for Cooper. It drops for Kenny Cooper, he fires and puts it over the bar. It's Marco Papa, the corner for Seattle. Cooper got a hit on it and it's off the top of the bar, didn't miss by much. It was almost a free header for Kenny Cooper. Patient approach by the Sounders here. Barrett. Seven goal man. Plays it for Nagel and punched out wide. Here's Remick. His service deflected away. Headed down and knocked off the line. It could have been Sagaya who got it away for New York. Defining their roles in the aftermath of that. Here's Sam the speedster clipped at the edge of the box. It's a penalty. A penalty kick awarded to New York. The speed of Lloyd Sam forcing the foul. I'll have to say my initial instinct was penalty. From the moment Sam gets the other side of the defender, Remy, he's in problems. Sam does well because he slows him down here and then he goes. And now he's away from the defender. And I don't think he can go to ground. He doesn't get any of the ball. He gets all of the man and it's an easy decision. Watch here. You'll see the ball he gets. Lloyd Sam's legs. It was an easy decision for the referee. Stared down by Stephen Fry. Right Phillips, perfect so far this season. Deflected off Fry and it's in. 2 nothing New York. 23rd goal of the season for the league leader, Bradley Wright Phillips. He'd have been much better staying on his feet, trying to body up with the player and put him under pressure. It is usually Leo Gonzalez in that spot. Here's Wright Phillips looking for the hat trick, and he buries it. A smoke-filled party in the South Ward at Red Bull Arena. It's Bradley Wright Phillips' third hat trick this year. Well, the mark of a true goal scorer. Because when he gets there, there's two things. One, he makes it look easy. The second is it's a one-touch finish. He knows what he's doing. He knows where he is in the penalty box. And he certainly knows how to put them away. Makes a great run off the back of the defender. Papa. Much firepower on the field here for Seattle. Nagel is able to control. Backs it up. Dempsey fires away. Right back in the match. Wow. Well, from his deep line position, Clint Dempsey. Going to start the play. You'll see that Nagel gets played on because the ball comes off a Red Bulls defender. So he's clear. He gets his head up. He sees Dempsey coming from that deep position. Not too dissimilar to the goal that he scored in the Open Cup. On his left foot, just steers it past the goalkeeper. 
strong move on the far side. Oyongo for New York. Works it across. Drops here. Cahill gets a shot away. Backs it in. Tim Cahill restores the three-goal lead. Well, again, it's all about penalty box know-how. Because when the ball lands to Tim Cahill, he just shifts it out of his feet and then steers it past the goalkeeper. Again, he's the only Red Bull player in the box when the ball comes. Watch it to shift to his left foot. It hit hard and low across the goalkeeper. Yes, he needs a post just to help him to guide it in. And that's just the understanding in the situation. Knows he can't really blast the ball. Knows he's got to hit it early, he does that. He might get the silent treatment for the rest of the year, perhaps. Here's Dempsey, the goal scorer for Seattle. Laid off. Papa will give it a go. Deflected. Parried away by Robles. And the rebound, he got that as well. His finest moment tonight. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding goalkeeping. The first get to deflection that causes him all kinds of problems. He's going one way, has to readjust and go the other. This is top, top draw. Dempsey thinks he's got his second, gets himself up and saves. Team goal scored, they've allowed three. Sam works it away nicely to the foot of Cahill. Return pass for Sam, and it's a beautiful one. Sam steps up, shoots. Fry reaches out, and he's got it. New York set to move two games over 500, and with that, the whistle blows, and the final score at Red Bull Arena is New York 4 and Seattle 1.